I do this for my culture, penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real Marfa toy, it's not three, buddy. <laughs> You know where you're at. You know where you are. Jordan's World Podcast, you bitch ass nigga. Yes. Face first. Come on, first. man. Jordan's World Podcast, Will Model Shit like Jordan. that. Shit like you that. know the like fucking vibes, huh? It's me, baby. Come on, man. Hey, I don't want niggas telling me to chill. Shit like niggas that. Shit like me. that. No, we're not doing it. I let it go. Hey, alright. It's cool. You heard? Girl, it's me, baby. Come on, man. Ah! <laughs> Come on, man. It's me. Join this world podcast. Real model for tours. You know the fucking vibes, nigga. I do this for my culture, penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real Marfa toy, it's not three, buddy. <laughs> Where we at, huh? How we doing out there, ladies and gentlemen? Jordan's World Podcast episode, you know the vibe. Oh my gosh, how we doing, huh? Let me relax. I'm hype, ladies and gentlemen. You know what time it is, huh? Every Wednesday. Come on, man. It's me, baby. You understand? Know I do this for my mm. culture. Pit. What we doing, huh? Let me still do what I do. These niggas is going to steal the sauce, man. They going to steal the sauce, all right? They going to look like they doing something new. But it's what I already do. Come on, man. Y'all see it, my internet niggas. Oh my god. I know y'all seen it. I know. Let me see me chill. Hey, y'all niggas was watching. Y'all went and did your research. You realized the kid wasn't lying to you, man. It's me, baby. You know what I'm saying? I told you niggas. These niggas. Oh Shit like that. Shit man, like we that. had two Shit minutes. Like Great. Like Great. How we doing though, man? It's almost April. You know what that means, y'all. My birthday coming up. The guy's getting older, 37. Mm. I know y'all like, damn, this nigga look hella young. I'm like, man, shit. Don't feel like it, man. Y'all been watching the basketball videos. You know what I'm saying? Me and my kids, you know what I'm saying? We be going crazy, we be hooping on the game, pause, Monopoly. Monopoly, and I got mad last time. Niggas was going crazy. Um, we'll talk about that some other time, but boom. Where we at, man? You know what I'm saying? Things is looking great, feeling great. I feel amazing. Got a phone call yesterday. I be doing this shit now that it's like once a week, I can kind of just be honest with y'all. As shit is happening, I can just throw it out there. You feel me? Um, nigga hit me. <sighs> My nigga am, bro. Oh, we about to go crazy. Nigga coming soon. Pause. Oh, man. When he told me that, I said, oh, now we then we can start getting into some other shit. Pause. But like, yeah, man. What we got? Basketball videos, run them up, boom, you know what I'm saying? Uh, again, internet niggas, man, I told, oh, man, I told you. Niggas, bro, like, I'm going to tell you, right? Again, I don't delete nothing. I let shit live, you feel me? Because whatever I said, I said whatever. I said what I said, and we just going to hold that, you know what I mean? So, boom, niggas deleted shit. No, nigga, we got the screenshots. You know what I'm saying? If you put it on the, the thing with the internet, is you put it on the internet, you don't know who's watching. Anybody could be watching, you know what I'm saying? When I seen it, I'm like, yeah, two days later, like, oh, okay, work. We rolling, you know what I'm saying? But damn, like, all right, cool. But y'all see it. I ain't got to talk about it no more. Y'all see what's going on. It's whatever. And we just moving forward, you know what I'm saying? But niggas got, y'all seen it. Y'all know what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna talk about nobody because I don't want no problems. I just want to be left alone. Shit just be cool. <laughs> We just keep going. It's moving forward. Guys, it's new shit. Again, man, niggas is gonna steal the sauce. Niggas is gonna steal the sauce for the niggas who came here to see some whole other shit. Like, oh, this nigga gonna say, I ain't gonna say nothing still. I'm still gonna just do what I do. Me and baby girl gonna do what we do. You know what I'm saying? My kids is happy. You know what I'm saying? We, like, my nigga, like, <laughs> man, like, look. Have you ever seen a nigga so happy 
to talk negative about another person, like my nigga, you ain't smiled in months. Looking when you smile and when you talk about the kid, niggas want to keep attaching themselves to the kid, my nigga. I don't. I I I ain't gonna like. I don't even claim niggas. Niggas be like, hey, ain't you? No, nigga, I'm Jordan. <laughs> nigga, no, I don't. I am not associated with niggas. No, hey. Let's just keep it going. Where we at? This is going to be one of them ones. I, I just feel like it's going to be one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? New shit. Where we at? New shit popping, nigga. Baby girl said, I see the vision. I'm going to get you. She gave me birthday gifts early. Like, she, cause she said, I see the vision. I want to help, baby girl. I know. I ain't going to tag you still. You know what I'm saying? You be looking and shit. But come on, man. It's me, man. I just been living my life trying to just be better and take things to the next level. But if nigga going to steal your sauce, niggas going to still want to attach their self to you. No, nigga. I ain't, ain't no attaching to me. I just want to just be on my own. It's Jordan <laughs> Will Model for Toys. Jordan's World Podcast. Man, I stand alone. I am not claiming niggas. I don't. I don't know niggas. I don't. Hey, man. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think when niggas want to keep associating themselves with you, it's like, yo, my nigga, get hot on your own, bro. Just get hot on your. Niggas see my shit lit right now, and it's like, bro, like you just want to jump on and be a part of the bandwagon. You want to be a part of the conversation, which is why I don't talk about niggas. That's all these niggas want is want you to say something, and then they can got a reason to say something back. No, nigga, let me just keep it to real life, nigga, because niggas just be talking. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I hope I gave you niggas the click shit that you wanted to do. Screen recorded, all that. Again, man, I'm minding my business. I'm doing my thing. But guess what niggas do? They don't want to see us win. Niggas be faking and fucking fraud. And niggas tell me, right? Niggas want to tell me. I just want to let you know. Shout out to you, niggas. I know, hey, and I'm getting to the podcast. But this is for you, niggas, because there's a few real niggas. It ain't a lot of you. It's not a lot of you. It's niggas out. Well, there. Great. Niggas is acting. We'll talk about that some other time. But niggas act like they don't know who I am. But it's a few real niggas. It's a few. Shout out to y'all. I can't expose y'all to liking and being cool with me because it might fuck up some shit. But I fuck with you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all niggas keeping it real. Y'all, my nigga said, my nigga said, yo, my nigga, I thought we was past that. I said, he what? What? Girl, he wrote that? Oh, man. Shout out to my nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? But needless to say... Life has been great, guys, man. It's 2024. Are we still doing the new things? Are we still moving forward? You know what I'm saying? Are we thinking about the future? The future... Oh, my gosh, right? So, boom. Talk to him. I'm going to tell you how the future works. Because what you do today matters. You know what I'm saying? The people that you deal with today, it matters. You know what I'm saying? I never thought about any of this stuff. But I was on this a little early. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. When it was time for my son to have... Uh, Cause he's learning, you know what I'm saying. This is Junior. When he's learning, it was like, all right, I want to be able to teach him the way I know. You know what I'm saying. Most fathers know. I'm rolling. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying. We want to be able to teach them certain things. You know what I'm saying. You tie your shoes like this. You know what I'm saying. You tuck your shirt in like that. Needless to say, focus, man. We don't want to share that shit with nobody else. So. We'll try to just be a little protective over that because we want to give you the information that we feel is valuable. You know what I'm saying. But outside influences, right? If I have my friend watch my, my my son because I have to go do something and then he teach my son how to tie shoes, nigga, I do bunny ears. You teaching this nigga the loop, the last loop? I don't want to know. I, my son shouldn't know that. He should know the bunny ears. But because I got you in my life because I thought I was doing what I was doing was more important than teaching my son how to tie the shoes the way I wanted to. Guess what? There's another nigga doing the job, ladies and gentlemen. And when that person does the job, that impact, that name, that story, when you tell, hey, yeah, my son knows how to tie his shoes. Well, who taught him? And then you got to bring up this nigga. And then it's 20 years later, though. You know what I'm saying? You may not even be speaking to these niggas no more, but they are part of your story. These people, oh, my God. Shit like go. that. Shit Listen, like that. Shit the like people that. Like who you have in your life is a part of your story. I can never erase that experience for my son. He learned for himself the loop-de-loop is better. 
I didn't even give him the opportunity to do the bunny ears because I wasn't focused on that. Shit like that. Shit Guess like what that. I was Shit focused like on? Like Nothing. Sidebar. Guess what? I forgot to say this in the beginning, but I need to say this, right? For the internet niggas, I want you to I do this from my culture, penny nickels in the sofa. Mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real one for toys. It's not three, buddy. <laughs> y'all to pay attention because this is uh, look I cannot make it up I gotta start there's a segment on here where it's like Jordan knew the truth and I just want that to be like oh shit he said that and then I'm gonna replay this part and then we go so boom they treat me like a king I desire to be pampered since my birthday coming up April 19th watch during that time internet niggas just so you can watch to see who's the hate <laughs> turn <laughs> to see who's the hate turn so when when my birthday come around, watch how much shit start getting posted. And it's gonna be like, damn, why is it this post right now? You feel me? And then I want you internet niggas to go back in January, February, March. This is the month is about to be over. You go back in December, you go back in November, October, all you just keep going. We had this much fun in the Out the window, man. I chill. Mind my business, but niggas don't want to seem like it's some niggas going go on vacation and try to make it like, my nigga, we ain't worried about, my nigga, girl. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, so boom, I want to teach my son how to tie his shoes. I should be able to tie, help my son tie his shoes. It shouldn't be put on somebody else, but Talk to him. when you're not paying attention to who you have in your life, you're not even thinking about like, oh shit, we got to bring that person up every time we talk about this nigga tying his shoes, you know what I'm saying? So, even if we go back, right, we got graduation pictures, birthday pictures, all back in the day. Who's in those pictures? Who was your best friend in elementary? Are you still friends with them today? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let me tell you why you're not. Because the time equity ran out. You was cool with niggas. Oh my gosh, bro. Since elementary. You knew niggas since middle school. You knew that y'all had this relationship. Y'all had kids together. And now it's over. Why is it over? And I'm telling you right now. Y'all don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it for y'all because that's what I do. I speak for the people. It's fucking hate. Yeah, it's hate. Oh, my God. Guys, when you have friends, ladies and gentlemen, Shit like that. Shit and when like you that. have friends and y'all both start here, it's cool. Y'all both in elementary, y'all both lost teeth, all that kind of shit. As you get older, maturity, all that type of shit, you had kids, this and that. It's always a competition. It's always a competition. Why is it a competition? For the fucking story. Yes, the story has to make sense. So listen, right? People have reasons, excuses. They have different type of uh, stories on why something couldn't happen and why something could happen. Unfortunately, every time you talk to a nigga, a nigga got a story. A nigga is the victim. How are you the victim? Everybody wants to be the victim. You're not the victim. Nobody wants to hear, hey man, the victim tell a story once or twice. The case is solved, nigga. We don't want to keep hearing that shit, my nigga. Let it go, bro. Let it go. But when your friends, when your friends are like, hey, you know what? We started here and now I see you could possibly go here, so I'm hate. I'ma tell you to stay in that weak ass relationship. I know we do it. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. You got five, ten kids with this motherfucker. You don't want to just throw that shit away, but the time equity would allow you to waste your time. Yes! The time equity. I've been fucking with this nigga forever. Who wants to start over? You know what I'm saying? Who wants to have a new best friend at 37? I'm about to be 37, guys, come on. Nobody wants to have a new friend. No, it's just certain niggas you fuck with and certain niggas that you don't fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Example, boom, son had a basketball game. I am anti-social today. The camera will let you believe that I'm just cool and I just want to talk to niggas. No, I don't. I don't, but I got social anxiety, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be wearing a mask all the time. I only, when I go out, it's just be like, oh, I'm going to see somebody, and then I got to check the screenshots, see if niggas was liking shit <laughs> and commenting, because it ain't no what's ups. 
ain't no daps, ain't no nothing. When Jordan is on his elevation and he's going up that elevator, shout out to Torelli Mo. When I'm going this way, my nigga, I'm not worried about what's over here. So I was in the spot, boom. I'm so to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even be paying attention. I'll really just be like zoned out, really, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like wanted to shine so bad that I, I got left in the there. This shit is like fucking Denzel and the equalizer, you know what I'm saying? It's like alright, cool, I got one minute and twenty seven seconds to get over here and then get over here. I'm not listening. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Jordan, hey, Jordan, hey, Jordan. Hey Jordan, hey Jordan, hey Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Jordan is pulling out his phone on the side. I just need to check shit. Oh, you was one of them. No, nigga, ain't no subs. Still on it. While I'm going this way, my nigga, you're not a part of the story. You know what I'm saying? We get inside of relationships. We have friendships. We work with people. You know what I'm saying? And they're a part of your story. When you go home at the end of the day, your work day was trash. But guess what? You got to talk about what Tiffany did and Tiffany said. And when your boss did this. And I don't even know these people. But based on the story that you're telling me, I know these people. So who are these people? Boom, let me tell you. I do this from my culture, penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real wonderful toys, it's not three, buddy. <laughs> these people are not a part of your life, but these are a part, these people are actually a part of the people that you talk to on a daily basis. You heard about Tiffany, you heard about Washington, you heard about all these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because they are a part of that person's story. Talk to them. But if they wasn't dealing with those people, I wouldn't know anything about them. But now that I know, now that I've heard this story, now that I heard the name, and now when I see the nigga, I can put a face to the name that I heard of. But I only know one side of the story. One side of the story means, guess what? It can't be the truth. It's three sides to every story. It's this man's story, that man's story, and there's somewhere in the middle of the truth. There's no way that it's only one side of the story, unless we're only talking about the truth. And if we're talking about the truth, ladies and gentlemen, niggas don't want to talk about that shit because the truth sounds more stupid. See, in my life, when niggas do stupid shit to me, it's never what I want it to be with the with the story being like exciting. It's wizardry. It's a tiger. It was a it was a it was a closet you walk through. And you're in a whole other place. Oh my gosh! What? Crazy man. No, I get regular degular shit. I get the shit when niggas like yo, my nigga, you did that? Shit like that. 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 Then you ask a nigga, hey man, why'd you do that? And the nigga will tell you everything other than the what? You guessed it! The fucking truth! Come on, man! It's me. I don't, like, I'm so excited. Like, niggas never want to tell the truth, right? Internet niggas, y'all my niggas, man. I promise you. So look, right? So boom. You start dating. Women, I'm with you. You start dating a nigga. Talk to him. Never known that the nigga had a kid. Nigga never post, nigga never say nothing. Never hear the nigga in the background crying, asking, hey man, I need some food, I'm thirsty. You never heard none of that shit. Six months later, eight months later, boom, finally the nigga had a kid. Nigga 10 years old. You're like, wait, what? How did not know? What did I miss? You know what I'm saying? Go lying again. Don't know why you never asked. You never cared. You didn't care about the story. See, it's niggas who don't care about the story. I could think it's weird, but I don't know. You only... They treat me like a king. I desire to be pampered. You can only judge people off of what you know. So, right? If you know I got in a car accident. Boom. Social media went crazy. Ah, boom. You know of it. It was to the world to know. Easy peasy. Boom. Can I go lying again? Don't know why I pretend. Hold up. Wasn't on social media though. But the story is being told. So when you see a nigga, and one thing, and I forgot her name, I don't know her name. It's the lady who went crazy on TikTok, right? As well, niggas too. I'm with you, right? She told her story. She popped, forgot her name. I don't know her name. I ain't gonna get nobody no free promotion. I forgot her name. But she was telling her story about how a man did this and a man did that. And a man did this and a man did that. Niggas start hearing a story. Niggas like, all right, word, that's crazy. Boom. What she look like? Wanted to shine so bad that I got left in the dark. Girl. Stop playing. Listen. Stop. Like we got to start like keeping it real. I said this multiple times. Something. Niggas do shit for convenience. 
It ain't really cause a nigga like you. It ain't cause a nigga just uh ah uh, no no nigga. It's just because you're in your situation based on the moves that you made in your life. Your story might sound different than reality, but the reality is just reality. It doesn't matter what story a nigga tell you. A nigga tell you, oh man, you know I grew up, man. It was crazy, man. I had to drink, I had to eat cereal out of a out of a uh, three little uh, bottle. It's like yo, my nigga, you, you didn't have no bowls. No, I didn't have no bowls. It's like alright, cool word. What they got? do it today we don't want to hear you so i tell my kids all the time bro i tell my kids like listen unless you plan on writing a book and wearing that shit as a mask on your fucking face don't nobody give a fuck about your story everybody got like problems like everybody, that. everybody has things that they have to do in life to get through to whatever they need to get to you know what i'm saying we don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying you telling me oh man i have to do this and nigga Okay, <laughs> you survived and you're here, my nigga. We got to move on, you know what I'm saying? So pay attention to the stories that you're hearing from people because, again, people are only holding on to the past, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's why niggas tell stories, nigga. I'm asking this. We're moving on forward. Like, I'm going to let it breathe for a minute. Moving forward, though, I got to let niggas know, honestly. Mm. When niggas tell me stories about shit... I want to know about the last six months. I, I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to know nothing five years ago, 10 years. My nigga, save it. We don't want to know. Because all you're going to do, right? Depending, because again, most niggas don't make it through the book. You feel me? Most niggas, they, they seen cut a lot sooner. You know what I'm saying? I'm cutting niggas off. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when... A nigga ain't a part of the story no more. It's like, nigga, we don't ever talk about that shit. It's just like, yeah, nah, never happened type shit. You know what I'm saying? So Shit like that. Shit like before that. Before a nigga like be that. telling their story all the time. Every time they turn around, they want to tell a story. Like, my nigga, you still telling a story? Nigga, read to your kids. Shit like, <laughs> shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Niggas don't even read to their kids but want to tell other people's stories. It's craziness. But, again, man, it's very important who you got in your life. Cool, back to the dating thought. I forgot. Him, Daddy. Boom, you start dating niggas. When you're single, guys, it's very important. You just don't want to introduce a person to your kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't get to meet the kids, my nigga. Like, oh, my God. The stories that I hear about what's going on. Like, I talk to niggas. Niggas tell me all the time. Like, hey, look, boom, this is the type of shit that's happening. I be like, work. You know what I'm saying? So like, I do this from my penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real wonderful toy. It's not three, buddy. <laughs> Again, you don't want to introduce your kids to all these different men, all these different women, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to do that because again, when you, let's say your kid got a baseball game and then. You had a girlfriend from back then. Well, that's not your girlfriend a year from now, but she could all your your kid could always remember like, oh shit, that was so and so from my baseball game. Now it's a part of their story. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have different characters coming in and out of the kid's life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a part of their story now, and it's not because of what they were doing. It's because of what you were doing. So, all I want to keep that in mind. You know, you don't want your kids to have to be remembering these things, you know what I'm saying? You go to work to the family, they got a family barbecue thing for your job, and you bring your kids, and oh, that's my boss, and nigga, that ain't my boss, nigga, that's Steve, nigga, whatever his last name is, you know what I'm like saying? That. Because we're not just gonna be introducing, giving niggas titles and all that, nah, nigga, this is the person's name, and then we just figure it out, you know what I'm saying? And I know what y'all thinking, like, oh, no, no, I got older kids, and shit, it's like, it's like, it's cool, but your older kids can talk, you know what I'm saying? And they have a preference too, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure that your kids are comfortable and know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? For me, baby girl, man, she had, she had to go through the boot camp first, cause I just can't introduce you right off the rip, and it's just like, nah, I gotta see how serious you are, and if you're serious, then it's like, all right, we can move forward and we can kind of go to, you know, go down that road. But before that, like, nah, I can't. You don't want to play them games. You can create and have whatever story you want. If you want to freestyle, do your thing. But cool. But when you want to be calculated and really just be like, nah, do I really want this nigga who I don't speak of? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's niggas I was fucking around with Pauls when Junior was born. These niggas, don't, they, they ain't around today. Not at all. 
you know, they probably sneak watching and seeing what's going on, but yeah, it's still not cool. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Shit uh, like it's still that. not Shit cool. Like, that. It's, it's, like I said, man, certain things, as I get older, guys, I'm about to be 37. What we got on time, man? I, this is only supposed to be 25 minutes, but like, as I get older, man, I'm only saying, like, I should just stay who I am. It's not necessarily because the story that matters the most is my story. It ain't, it ain't what. Dr. Seuss said over here, you know what I'm saying? Whoever the fuck wrote Harry Potter, it ain't about them niggas and the stories that they telling. It's about the stories that you're telling and those who are deciding to say, hey, you know what, man, I'ma just chill, man. Nah, man, get your shit off, man. Like, let niggas know, like, hey, yo, nah. Talk to him. The truth, I only can tell you about me. I can't speak for other niggas. If a nigga telling you a story about them and it only got anything to do with them, listen to him. But once they start introducing other people involved, now it's a whole different story. Because I might ask the three little pigs what it looked like when the wolf was trying to blow down the brick. Pause. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. To them, it might be like, yeah, it was a dumb dog running around. You know what I'm saying? It might sound different than how we heard it. You know what I'm saying? So you might want to just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Man, the streets were a long time ago, man. Where we at? We at on time. 25 minutes. I do this for my mm. coach Penny. Again, ladies and gentlemen. The fake will always talk louder, and they'll always smile with a hate, a hateful grin. You ever seen the Joker? It's like a, it's like how do niggas even like when niggas is the victim? You can't be smiling. How you smiling? Niggas be smiling, no. They be smiling with a straight face. Like what? How you do that? Like that's crazy. But anyway, what we got, man? Internet niggas do y'all job, man. Y'all gonna see it's no cap in the raps. I try just, man, go back to like, go back to like old episodes. He'd be like, damn, nigga, why was he talking like that? And he'd be like, bro, cause I, the future, bro. I know how niggas, I know how niggas move. I watch, I pay attention to everything. Nigga, I might, I'm the type of person, right? Like, I just leave my phone open. Randomly, like I like I make sure it looks secure, and then I randomly just leave it open, and it'd be like, oh shit, like golden opportunity. What you think I'm gonna do? You really think it was an accident? No, man, I just want to see what you do. I just want to see what happens, cause I know patterns. I know what shit look like. I know. Mm. <sighs> what else we got, man? Drugs World podcast. One more for toys. You know, sometimes your story matters if you're willing to tell it. But just don't tell that story if it involves too many people, because then it gets a little confusing, a little muddy in the water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what we got, man? New shit, baby girl. Birthday gifts early. She ain't playing. Look at big shit, too. Pause, you know what I'm saying? Uh, check out all the new shit. We almost had a thousand subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and again, to leave y'all off on this, man, I when they associate themselves, with a nigga that they don't like. And the smartest thing I ever did was play dumb. Uh, Jordan's World Podcast. <laughs> Will Model for Toys. Keep being you, y'all. Keep being you. The more you're you, the more you can see who don't like you. You know what I'm saying? And as long as you like yourself, fuck them niggas. You heard? Shit Jordan's like World that. Podcast. Like Will Model for Toys. Make sure I subscribe to that fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> Man, new shit for the birthday gonna be wild, too. I'm telling you. We already, like, we got some shit going. Anyway, uh, we're Mopper Toys, you're on as well, podcast, you know the fucking vibes. Uh, man, this is a great day, man. I knew I knew today was going to be a good one, too. Only because, like, man, it was a great week, man. Great week. I do this from my coach mm. and penny niggas in the sofa, mommy. That's all I got, man. You're on as well, podcast, you're on Mopper Toys, you know the fucking vibes. I do this for my culture, penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real wonderful toys, it's not three, buddy. <laughs>